Welcome to another episode. Uh, in this episode, uh, I'll show you how to quickly set up a rendering of a two-player game. Uh, so basically a split screen. So I start off with these, uh, this setup here where I have two cameras in my application. And I just added to the UI a slider that basically one of the, that modifies one of the cameras, the first camera so that it turns around B00 origin uh, just to show you that it's more uh, you can how easily you can modify stuff like that and in the setup pipeline I'm setting both cameras and the names are property names are camera 1 and camera 2 so now let's go into the pipeline rendering here so this is the default one you would start in normal rendering let's make some more space here uh, so what we want here is to first of all we want to render the scene twice so we add the other default renderer here and we all attach the same models and the same lights to it however a different camera so first of all we will rename this camera as camera one and a new camera camera two property I'll add both of them to the graph. So we have camera one attached to the first render and camera two attached to the second render. And now um, we want here for both of those start pipeline. And what we want need to do now is to render those two onto this main pipeline here. So what we do here is do pipeline renderer and we do it twice. So we render two different separate pipelines, this one and this one into the into the main one. That's one way of doing of achieving this, but there are other reasons as well. Okay. So now we are rendering the scene twice and we are rendering then into the main pipeline where we have all the other stuff. You could theoretically start with this one and remove the start and skip this one, but this is much more much easier. Um, it's much, much easier to set up size and so on. So, okay, at the moment this pipeline starts going to be the size of the entire screen, and that's we don't, that's what we don't want. We want to have half of the size of the screen. So let's start with render size, which gives us this screen size. And we want to halve it, so let's do math multiply, and you want to multiply the one by vector two, and let's let's see we want to have horizontally, so on left and right side, so we want to multiply it by half and one zero, so we have now the vector two that is half of the screen. So this is going to be the size of this pipeline and also size of this pipeline. Oh, sorry. Okay. And now we want you to define. So we have this and now we can define where we draw it. So uh, size is going to be the, by default the size of whatever we are drawing on it. So it's fine. But we have to define the position. So the position of the first one is going to be 0, 0. Let's move it somewhere here. Let's make some more space. So position of the first render, the camera one render, is gonna be on the left side, so zero 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 zero. And the position of the second one we want to have zero five zero zero multiplied by the render size. We want to multiply this by half and attach it to position of the where we're going to render this pipeline. So let's review quickly. So we have this pipeline here, which draws camera one and the models and the lights, and it only draws it on the half of the width of the screen and the entirety of the height of the screen. We have the same thing here, just from camera two. 
also let's maybe make it more clean here okay uh yeah it's kind of messy but let's go for now for this so we have second the same setup here when we where we draw on a canvas that is basically half of the width and the entirety of height from camera two the same models and lights here and then we have this main pipeline here where we start with the size of the entire screen and then we draw at the position zero zero we draw that this pipeline this half screen pipeline and then afterwards we draw at the position which is half of the width so let's say if our, if our width is 800 then we draw it at 400 and zero we draw the second pipeline and finally we draw ui and pipeline end and so let's test it so we have the same model rendered on two and this slider modifies the camera on the first one okay so what what you can do here for example is say that in the right hand side we actually want uh, to a blur so this will show you that these are very separate things separate uh, pipelines and you can modify them separately or as in case of the ui as i can see i'm doing afterwards and drawing a ui so let's do a Gaussian blur and the radius let's say 10 and we attach this here save once again i press r, r to the load and as you can see this is blurred and i'm not sure if it's going very well you can see it very well or not on the on youtube so let's do a much larger one yeah so you can see you can modify each pipeline separately do some effects on on them or you can uh, for example apply any kind of post-processing or any anything else in, in fact uh, afterwards you draw these two sub pipelines into the this main one here um yeah uh, so this is how in five minutes or maybe 10 minutes or so time you can create a rendering for a two person game on one computer uh, where everything scales nicely there is no issues you don't have to worry about anything else and it just works with a few clicks in this graph here okay uh that's it for this episode um please make sure to subscribe and like the video if you'd like to see some more i have quite a lot of plans going ahead i'm already working on shader graph where you can actually using the same graph technology like this modify the rendering of the objects uh, and a couple other ideas i have that i want i want to do for this so subscribe if you want to be notified of new videos and support me and yeah thanks for watching bye